lost and found treasure hunt, time running out for schedule changes and parking permits, worship meetings, and it's gonna get bloody in a few weeks. Those items and more coming up in your update for Friday, August 18th. He's Jordan. And he's Zach. And your news starts now. Well, first up for today, today is the last day for schedule change requests to be handed in. Wondering how to submit a request? Either have your parents email Ms. Collum or complete one of the blue schedule change request forms at the high school desk with your parents' signature. Only course changes will be considered. You cannot request to change class periods with courses you are already taking. Next up is an announcement for all middle schoolers. If you are missing something, check the lost and found. There are already multiple items and if they are still there at the end of today and they don't have a name, those items will be either donated or thrown away. Or someone like Jordan will go shopping for some new gear. Maybe. Probably. Anyways, next up to the first Sentinels for Life Club meeting this year on Monday. It will be held in room 239 from 315 to 4. Talk to Mrs. Fresh or Izzy for more information. Well now let's see what sports has for us. Thanks guys. Last night, Varsity Volleyball went up against Northport and they unfortunately lost 2-0. to zero. Moving on to today's events, the Varsity football team will face Lake Placid in an away game at 7.30 tonight. Heads up team members, you'll be dismissed at 2 from class. Finally, Cross Country has their preseason meet at Dunbar tomorrow morning. And the meet will begin at 7.45. Well, that's all from us. Let's send it back to Jordan and Zach with a few more announcements. Thanks guys. We just have a couple final announcements. First, a message from the deans. If you do not have a parking pass by next week, you need to get one by submitting the blue student parking agreement form. If you do not, you will be considered illegally parked. Next Tuesday at 7.30 starts praise and worship team practice. If you couldn't make the interest meeting, then please go to the first practice. One last thing. On Monday, August 28th, there will be a blood drive. Forms will be available from 10 to 3 at the high school office. Just remember that you must be 16, have a valid photo ID, and you must have permission from the teacher whose class you are missing. Lunch will be provided, and as a reward, you will get a dress down day, a lunch cooler, and money donated to a Lee Memorial Scholarship for a senior student. Well, that is all for your update for today. And it's time for Jordan to get his cinnamon roll. Have a great rest of the day, ECS.